Yeah, we got a new cool new project. My dad's old doom buggy here. And actually used to be my mom's, but she doesn't uh, anyway drive it anymore. So he's going to be painting it. Or I'm actually going to be painting it here. And so it used to be pink for my mom. And uh, so we're going to paint it black. And it's going to have some blue flake in it as well. And uh, anyway, so just going over that. He already got it tore down. I uh, just got the fiberglass body here. It is a Volkswagen chassis that the buggy's on. And anyways, so we can go show that here later on. But for now, we're going to start with power washing this fiberglass shell off here. And uh, go from there. We're going to get everything fixed up onto it. Not that there's a lot. Got a hole back here. And get that filled in. So there used to be the air cleaner there. Had a single carb on this uh, buggy. And since it's been updated to a dual carb and they're a little bit more remote, so there's no need for a hole here. So I'm gonna get that patched in, get everything sanded down here, primed and painted, and we'll go after it. Pinky still got it. start really doing anything and uh, say there used to be an air cleaner here for the Volkswagen as a single carb and uh, then after that my dad filled this in with some Bondo back in his high school days so you know 40 years ago and then uh, anyways so that's just Bondo and then he put the put the air filter in a remote location and then went back and didn't like that cut another hole in his bondo and put another air cleaner through it again so this is actually just bondo right here um, a lot of this and so we're going to fiberglass that all back together and get that straightened out before we get too carried away so uh yeah we'll get at her here Yeah, and we're working on the uh, hood of it here too. This isn't a legitimate hood, obviously. We got a rear engine Volkswagen, but uh, this is just kind of the hood structure that goes on the uh, body here. And then the fuel tank sits down in that opening there. 
and then there's a little fuel cap cut out right there but anyway this is a stationary piece on the buggy when it's all said and done uh, but anyway so I got that uh, pretty much sanded down and scuffed up pretty good uh, but a couple repairs to do to it that I didn't see before up here on the front is uh, just kind of it's been cracked before and so it's got some bondo in there already but it doesn't really look like it was ever actually repaired so I'm probably gonna throw in uh, just a little bit of fiberglass filler in there and that's not really repairing it either but uh, where this is actually at on the buggy you really don't see it so I'm not too worried about it and then otherwise there's just two little chips here in the paint that I'm gonna get filled into so that's all the repair I see that we really need to do on the hood though and then uh, be able to get that in primer and then otherwise I got my uh, fiberglass repair back here going fan on that and uh, anyways uh, if you saw before I got the uh, cardboard just duct taped underneath to hold that up and then you got the resin and fiberglass sitting there drying and then I'll be able to sand that down and go over that with some uh, fiberglass filler as well and then get that all evened out too so but this is where we're at now and we'll get uh, get that thing fixed up Yeah, now we're at her. It's uh, less of a pink buggy and more of a Sherbert buggy now. So, uh, didn't have the camera going for a lot of this sand in here. It just kind of gets repetitive. And then I also just been busy enough that I haven't had a chance to really get the camera stuff set up or anything. So, uh, forgive me for that. But we got it pretty much all blocked down. My repair here in the back where I had the hole originally um, got that taken care of fiberglass in. I got my first coat of body filler over it that had fiberglass in it um, and then went over that with another layer of fiberglass filler and then now hopefully I got my last smear here with just regular lightweight body filler to take care of that um, but yeah like I say we're just getting her all blocked down so that way we got a nice smooth surface to start with when I get it primed and then that'll go pretty quick from there so this is the most tedious part right here and then she's really gonna fly along so but anyways we'll get the rest of it blocked here and then hopefully we'll be all set up to get her primed all right now we're all prepped for primer so we're gonna try and do that I got everything masked off and uh, you say I think it's funny I came up with the name for it uh, just in its current state anyways I think I'm gonna call it Sherby kind of like Herbie the old Volkswagen Beetle and then except this one Sherby it looks like Sherbert but anyway it's gonna be gray here in a hot second and just kind of walk around and just show you how everything turned out so just like any body work this here looks kind of weird but hopefully get some primer on it and it's gonna look like nobody was ever even there so and everything else I got sanded down real well and prepped uh, wax and grease remover on everything and so a lot of the inside of the tub here I didn't sand down I guess as much as I could have but enough the paint's definitely gonna stick but there's some small imperfections here and there that I'm just gonna let go and not worry about I guess because people are still gonna be in this thing using it so we'll see how we end up here and I'll try and get uh, the paint job on camera
And it's a little bit hazy, but got primer on to her, so that's two coats right there. My fingers, see, doesn't matter, they're the same color as the buggy. Two coats of primer on right now, so I'm gonna put, uh, gonna get a third coat just on the outside here, so I can try to really get that smoothed out after and sand it down nice for any imperfections that are there. Let everybody see here, but uh, no longer is she Sherby. And so everything looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this back here. So obviously that body filler is soaking up a little bit of that primer. So it looks a little, I don't know, funny yet. But still got to be sanded down and straighten around. But that is a primer buggy. And then next morning, I got the uh, masking and paper and everything pulled off the side already. But this is what we're looking like in primer. And obviously with that dull finish, it's kind of hard to see if there's going to be anything that really needs touched up on it until we get block sand in this now. But look back here and say on that dull gray at least, there's no way you'd ever know there was a hole right there. So that turned out real nice, but like I say it's just primer, no big deal. We gotta get it all sanded down and uh, then we can get some paint on it. I still gotta get the hood primered too, so I gotta get that all finished up. But this was the bulk of it that I wanted to get done. And so I got some other repairs to do on some other vehicles and I'm gonna get this outside and then I'll get sanded on it when I got some time. And now we're getting on the hood, so I skipped all the boring sanding and got this one all down too. And my repair up there, and my repair over here. And now uh, I'm just gonna get some primer laid on this curl now. It would come out pretty nice in primer, so I got that to sand down. And the tub again. So I'll get these both sanded, and then I'm going to try and get some paint on here today. So it's uh, kind of a glum day outside, a little overcast and rainy, and I got caught up on work. So be a great opportunity to try and get this thing all wrapped up. So Dad's uh, birthday party's next weekend, so... Be pretty cool if I can have this thing all ready for him, so we'll see how far we can get along on that. Hey guys, so not uh, 
a whole lot of video of me sanding there got pretty boring and then uh, I really ran out of time that day I didn't really even feel like painting it so a totally different day here and now uh, we're back at it so I got every all sanded down and blocked so we are nice and smooth the whole way and so hopefully this will be Pretty nice little paint job on tour. We're gonna see what happens. So, you know, I see I burned through my primer a little bit right there, but yeah, I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna get some sealer on it, and that should pretty much turn it all back to gray. I've already got it all waxed, grease removed, and prepped both the hood and the tub there. So, we're gonna get right into it and get those painted and see what this thing looks like.
dense fog. So here we are next morning and the fog has cleared. Looks way better than I thought I was going to be able to do if I'm being 100% honest. The coloring kind of isn't quite what I was having in mind for it, but I don't think that Dad's going to be disappointed. Not one bit. This bad land of bad hair. Where there used to be a hole. Mmm. Man, I got this thing straightened out nice. So this morning I'm going to try and get it all wheeled out. So there's a few spots on it that I could go through and get wet sanded down that didn't come out quite perfect. But for the amount of time this thing's ever going to see outside on the road. So and then today's kind of a glum day. Saturday, a little rainy. But anyways, we made the deadline just in time. Today is Dad's surprise 60th birthday. So today I'm tasked with... Oh man, my camera's fogged up horribly. <laughs> anyways. Oh uh, man, let me turn that back. Or... No. Would it be? be like that. Like that, like that. All right, so anyways, I gotta keep him distracted today from 10.30 until two, and that's when we're gonna make it back to where his surprise party's at. I'm gonna try to do an outfit where I have him help me load this up, and, and uh, with the joint and everything. I'm gonna try and do an outfit where I have him help me load this up, and then we take it back to his party, and then kinda everybody can check it out, and hopefully he'll uh, think that's pretty cool too. But I gotta get it, like I say, wheeled out, and I'm gonna take him out to breakfast. And try and burn a little time and then see if we can't ruin a surprise. So, anyways, we'll see how it goes. So you'll get more horsepower when it's sunny out, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. Oh, what do you mean too nice for the dunes? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. It is very nice. Mm. Like Curtis and I were saying, it's a wonder it's all together for as much as it uh, gets pounded in the dunes. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boat. That is cool. <laughs> 